guys, it's Anita. Let's talk about the laptop lifestyle. It's a hot word that's thrown around and used to describe the desire for a lot of millennials to not be changed to a desk for eight hours a day. But is it really possible to be working from your laptop and the internet? And to travel the world continually and be your own boss? In this episode, I'm gonna share with you how I actually got to this point where I'm living in Portugal, creating these videos and a steady stream of online content. This isn't to sell you a lifestyle. In fact, it's probably the opposite. It's to paint an honest picture for you so that you know, yes, it is possible, but the so-called laptop lifestyle is not necessarily gonna make you happy unless you already know how to be happy. So let's dive in. First of all, is the laptop lifestyle truly for you or is it just something that you're chasing after because it's a hip status symbol right now? Contrary to what some people on the internet make it look like, life is not better on the beach. In fact, it means there's gonna be sand covering all of your stuff. Working online also means that you're gonna be spending a lot of time on your laptop and devices. Constant travel means that you have to always adapt. On top of that, wherever you go, you bring the habits of your mind. So if you catch yourself complaining a lot, it doesn't matter where you are, you're gonna bring that habit with you. The flip side of that is if you grow yourself to experience peace, freedom, and joy, no matter where you are, you're in paradise. So don't chase after any lifestyle because you think it's better. There's honestly no need to screw the nine to five because that works really well for some people and it serves its purpose. But if that template doesn't work for you anymore, then it is your duty to find a way to create a life that fits you. If you want to travel the world and create meaningful content online, then do it because it's an expression of who you truly are, not because you're trying to prove something. So what does a day in my life actually look like? I created a video about this last year while I was in the UK that gives you more of a glimpse. It does take a lot of personal discipline and willpower. And many people find that transition from being an employee to being your own boss quite difficult. To make that switch and have to manage your own time and energy completely is a big transition. When I first started, I felt inclined to be working all the time, like I always had to be making progress and I ended up working myself into the ground. Nowadays, I know how to balance my energy a lot better. So what was my journey like into a life of full-time travel and doing what it is I love, which is creating meaningful content online? I first discovered blogging and online business when I was in university. Even though I graduated from a prestigious business school and I could have gotten a really good white collar job, I just, I couldn't bring myself to do it. I applied to I think three jobs and secretly hoped that I wouldn't get any of them. And then I devoted the rest of my energy into learning everything that I could about online marketing right out of graduation because I knew that I wanted to make a life where I could make and share things online. So I can break this down into four stages for you so you can really understand the transition into how I got to this place. And it might look different for you, but I want to share this with you because it will give you an idea that like it doesn't happen overnight. So stage one was travel plus being a student. This means that I didn't have the pressure of needing to figure out how I was going to make a living and make money, but I used that time as a student to really travel. I just learned really important lessons about different ways to live and that there's just, there's so much more to life than what we can see with a naked eye. Stage two was staying put in one place, but putting all of my time and energy, learning everything that I could about online marketing. So this was a period that started in 2014 of learning and doing and learning how to manage myself and create things from scratch. Stage three then happened at the end of 2015 I was tired of feeling like I was waiting for my business to work before I could actually just live my life. So I left Canada December 29th, 2015. I was like, I'm just gonna travel and figure this out on the road. So that was a period of full on travel. However, I only did about 25 to 50% of the creation stuff that I really wanted to do. because so there was a lot to figure out. Stage four is where I'm at right now, 2017. I'm traveling the world consistently. I know how to do it. I don't get bogged down and worried. And I am also creating online content. And not just anything, I'm actually creating what's in my heart and soul and what I have wanted to create my whole life, which is videos like this, 
creating these little packets of love and then sharing them online, knowing that somewhere through all time and space you are watching this and hopefully being inspired knowing that you can do this too. So now you can see that transition point from when I actually graduated to now has been three years. And the transition point from when I actually started traveling until now has been six years. So is that long or short? Online, some people can make it look like it happens overnight because all it takes is a video like this and it looks like, oh, you know, she's living the dream. But it's been years, in the making and there have been so many invisible lessons that I've had to learn in order to get to this place. Right? Even the ability to sit by myself in front of a camera and talk to you and knowing that I could put it together is, is a skill that I had to develop over time. What's most important though is that you don't rush yourself into it. Allow yourself to grow at your own pace. I am still doing it at the pace that feels right for me. Maybe it's slower than other people but all I can say is that I've just learned so many important lessons that have helped me to keep going, right? Because you could sprint really fast and make it look like you're an online success and living the dream, but then crash because you haven't integrated all of it. And instead, what I prefer to do is to go at the pace that feels right, let the treadmill accelerate at the pace that it's meant to as I learn how to run faster, and then soon we'll be flying! So how can you start creating the freedom lifestyle that feels most true to you? There are two main aspects to master. The first is travel, and the second is making an income, actually doing what it is that you love. There are important lessons to learn in both of these areas. You can do them at the same time. Looking back now, I can see I actually learned them one at a time, and then I combined the two together. So first of all, travel. How do you wanna travel, and what's the way that feels most right to you? I highly recommend going solo. Plan for at least one to two months abroad as well. When you're just somewhere for a week or a couple of days, you don't really get the kind of life-changing, heart-opening, mind-blowing experience that you need to make a life of travel. If you're the kind that is capable of jumping all in and you wanna be the one to quit the job and then just go for a year of travel and figure it out, you can do that. And I have met people that just figured it out on the road and it worked out. But if you're a little bit more cautious, you can save up so that you can have a year's worth of savings and travel the world that way. But the main thing is you got to get out there. The second aspect is making an income doing what it is that you love. So over the last few years, I've learned lots of really important lessons about the energetics of money. Because making money is not as simple as I make something, I slap a price tag on it and people will buy it. There's a lot more to it. and. Personally, the lesson has been, it's about how much love you give in the world, not just about how much money you make. Money is an echo. It's the thunderclap. Money is the reflection of how much love and devotion you're putting out into the world. That's the core of it. And then the external parts are the skill sets. So if you want to actually make money doing something as you love, you have to be really good at it. So whatever it is that you want to do, you can pick it up from scratch and I guarantee you there's a way that you can make money doing it. If you want to do videos, learn how to edit, learn how to shoot, learn about cameras. If you want to be a musician, learn how to play the guitar, you know, get a part-time job so that you have the money that you can invest in yourself and invest in your dreams. Master your skills, get really good at what you think you want to get paid at because you will get to a certain level where you are good enough that someone is going to pay you for it. And I promise you it will happen. And then the third part is you got to combine these two worlds. So you've learned all these lessons about travel. You've learned all these lessons about how to make money doing what it is that you love. And then you've got to combine the two. The best advice I can give you is that this takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. Even if other people make it look like it happens overnight, it honestly doesn't happen overnight. In my experience, it's every single day that I wake up and I'm like, okay, I gotta follow my heart, follow my intuition, build my skills, put myself out there, break through my fears, talk to people, read books, invest in myself over and over again so that I can make this dream my living reality. And you will get to a point where you get momentum. Beautiful, sweet momentum. Effortless momentum where you realize you don't have to have it all figured out. It's just gonna happen as you keep living and breathing your dreams. You hit a tipping point 
where you have so much wisdom, resilience, and inspiration inside that no matter what happens, you can keep going. I know that day will happen for you when you think it's just a regular day, but then you crawl into bed at night, you pull the sheets over you, and you look up. Suddenly, you see the stars and you realize you've just lived the most perfect day. You're not quite sure how this all fell into place, but you're here. You are here. Now I understand why they say things like follow your passion, follow your heart, believe in your dreams. Anything is possible for those who believe. If you enjoyed this video, please do let me know in the comments below. I read all of the comments. It is a blessing and an honor to be able to share this journey with you guys. And if my work, whether it's my Instagram posts, my blogs, my videos, or my live streams on Periscope, if any of that has inspired you over the years, if you've been with us for years, or if you've just found me a couple days ago and you're like, oh, she's my girl, she's my homie, and you wanna be a part of this journey in a more integral way, I invite you to check out my Patreon profile. It's in the description below, click through, and read the long love letter that I've written there. If you're new to Patreon, it's like a Kickstarter and crowdfunding, but instead of giving a big amount for a one-time project, you give a small contribution on a regular basis for each piece of work or art that an artist puts out. This isn't about trying to make a lot of money for my art. This is just about keeping it going and flowing and letting you into my world. With Patreon, I'm able to keep giving my work away for free, creating these videos and sharing all of this for you because all of this stuff does take a lot of time to put together. With Patreon, I don't have to worry about ulterior motives and external parties getting involved and you know that the work that I put out is just an expression of my heart. I'm really active with my Patreon family and check in with you guys several times a week, letting you into my creative process and behind the scenes into my life. I'd be honored to have your support. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah!